Hello everyone and welcome uh, to the garage. Uh, I'm hoping this is actually recording and it should be from what I can actually see there is actually picking it up. Uh, so uh, what we're going to go through today uh, it might be some a boring video for some of you but um, for me since I've actually started using it over the last couple of months has actually made a massive massive difference and what am I talking about? I'm talking about exporting my data on ZCs. That's exactly what I'm talking about and uh, it has actually been very very beneficial for me and uh, over the last Two months, I would actually say, uh, sadly, two months is because I hadn't realized I've actually been using a law for retail arbitrage too, in order to make sure that I've got the correct data all the time when I'm doing this. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you exactly how the GCs actually work uh, on both platforms, BuyBot Pro and Seller Amp. I use both, so therefore we're going to go through everything with both of them, and uh, we're going to sort it out, how we set them up, uh, and so on with them. Um, it's been a bit of time uh, since I've actually uh, done this because I've actually set it up for ages. So I think it'd be quite good to make sure that literally um, I'm just showing step by step for you guys. So I'm just going to hide myself in a corner and, and really go through uh, the two ways that you can actually export data uh, for us. So um, without further ado, let's start. Now uh, I am here. Let's go. I put myself up there, I think. Yeah, that should do it. That should do it. And we're going to be talking about is how we actually export data. Okay, so um, you can actually see here. Okay, what does that mean? First of all, um, if anyone is interested in selling AMP, you have got uh, a ten percent discount on annual upgrades for yourselves. Discounts not come uh, often with these guys, so please, 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 if you're thinking about it, try it. Uh, so what we've got here is a set, okay? So first of all, it's quite interesting how uh, the two different shoppers are actually picking different buy boxes. This is picking the lowest price, uh, 35, 36, which is EU, which is Amazon EU. 35.56, and that is picking 42.99, I think it was. Was that what it was? 47.99 okay so we've picked out for 20 quid or 25 one i think it's 20 quid that's what we've picked up anyway as you can see uh when i picked up on 24th um which is the 26th therefore it's black friday sales that's when i picked it up and uh so let's actually have a look as i say i use both so we're going to start first of all with um so the ramp okay so i'm going to go up and sell the ramp for us so here's the item um really for us and what we're going to be doing is let's say for example is g seats okay so i'm going to go my g seats setting it up and i've already connected my google account with it it's very fairly simple for everyone so all i've got to do is create a new g seat okay so new sheet and you can see i've got quite a few there for us so i've got the spreadsheet id really for us there and uh, i've got the buy sheet so say for example i'm going to recall this and i'm going to say youtube test okay so youtube test um and you can actually see now what are these these are all the mappings okay so these actually tell you and i'll move myself down here these are the mappings okay and tell you what information you actually want so i like having a product name source url amazon url that source url is when you're actually scanning something um online it actually picks that url from that website we've got asin uh, cost price sale price your profit the sales rank the export date and last note so last note is i usually put the supermarket i bought it from uh place i recorded it, or uh, something extra really for us and um, other information you could have, okay, you could have a category, brand, manufacturer, EAN code, uh, variation count, um, tags, export time, I've got the local so sure cost price, sales price, uh, buy box current, okay, so maybe you could have the buy, uh, the current buy box or the, the buy box over 90 days, I think that might be quite interesting uh, for a lot of people for us, okay, or the buy box of all time. You've got referral percent, uh, you have FBA fees, the prep fees, okay, so I've, all, I've got f uh, 50 pence, which is like 60p really because of that. Um, you've got registration, profit, the ROI, um, and so on. And then you've actually got um, all the different data from the seller toolkit because they match up quite well together. And I'll show you also how I actually use that. So at the moment in time, let's go for this. Um, could I add ROI? Let's add ROI too. Let's go on. Let's write ROI. ROI and may as well add profit margin. I think that'll be quite interesting video actually talking about the difference between ROI 
and profit margin. So what I want to do is I want ROI to be here and I want profit margin to be just below ROI. We've got the sale rank um, here. Uh, ASIN, nice and clear. So let's hit save. Okay, so we're going to hit save here. Stupidly. Uh, if I go back to edit. Now, what we want to do is we want to test and write the headers. And that's going to actually copy all these on a spreadsheet. And then we're going to open that seat. And you can see how that, them headers are actually there for us. Okay. And what will we do this? We call it YouTube seat. YouTube test, come on Nick, YouTube test. Okay, uh, YouTube test for this year, so this is what we've got. And how does this actually work? Well, if I was to quickly refresh this page, okay, so, because that's gonna actually refresh uh, ASIN for us too. I'll move myself up there. You can see, by the way, this is Helium 10. I started using Helium 10 for, um, uh, private labeling that's why that pings there for us now uh, if I click on this button here which is YouTube test now that is going to export all the data which I want so let's have a look at YouTube test you can see how I exported all the data now why this is blank well this is blank because um, we've scanned it on Amazon if I scanned it on Argos and we found a deal so this is quite could be quite good for people that are actually manually sourcing um, online find the deal and do that so let's have actually have a look okay uh, let's say Argos uh, toys uh, let's have a look. So let's say Cockermelon Toys, right? I'm just going to scan something random. So I'm just looking here for us for a bigger discount. Um, right, let's say, for example, right. So say, for example, we've got this here, okay? So uh, all we've got to do is uh, right click. So not right click, sorry, click the extension that I've got. And you can see, is it popping up there? Uh, have I got Cockermelon there? No, no, it's not popping up. So let's actually have a look if the AN picks it. it. Might be the case that that listing's not available in Amazon. Yeah, not available Amazon, that's why they didn't pick it. So let's actually have go back again. Uh, let's look at this door here, 2250. Uh, definitely it's not going to be a deal, but I'm just going to show you how this actually works for us. Coco Menno Bell Dime Toy. Uh, we've got this, 2250. And you can see how I'm making minus two quid for that. Let's actually have a quick look if that in the future, if that will actually recover. Um, FBA, FBA. Now, this here potentially you could actually try aiming for 36 for that item here if you've got the capital and uh, so really i would put youtube test i would also export that okay because that would actually export to my seller toolkit you can see how uh, how many quantity if it's got delivery cost the prep cost yeah um if i was sending it to prep center otherwise you could just put it as zero for us and then you can clearly see here how this has been copied and not only that it's been copied and now i've got that link if i ever wanted to go back and i can have it there for us so it's really important you can see sales rank cost price roi uh, profit margin uh, on that and last note if i was to open it up here for us again bedtime doll if i was to write youtube test on a note area youtube test think maybe 36 and uh, i'll save it i don't know how to spell youtube but i save it and then all i've got to do is press it again youtube test and you can see it's here and also it copies that so it just works smarter really when it comes to doing your online arbitrage really for it guys um but it also works when i'm doing retail arbitrage okay so say for example if i wanted um to do this, let's say for example. If I just check this quickly. Right. So say for example, if I wanted to actually um go and sell an amp, I could go and sell an amp. 
and you can see all I've done is I've just gone to show that I'm here on my phone and um, I've just leave that there if I go on my history let's have a look so I thought we could actually uh, show you guys so you can see how I've got this Bandai again it's the same one it's gone on my history if I click YouTube test that's actually pinged it straight away you can see or if I had an item from let's say the other day I found let's say this one here I've scanned it in store uh, 28 if I YouTube test oh, oh. no it goes there for us yeah um, so yeah not too bad not too bad really I'm just having a quick look uh, this year uh, perfection so uh, it works it really does work okay it really 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 does work so I would actually very much recommend having a GC also uh, what does that mean it means that you're not manually uploading stuff uh, the way I use this I export my data and then literally I copy that into the GC for think words I, I've got my prep center so it's no need for me to actually be copying a same copying the sales rank and cost okay for my for my prep center I've got product name how many I've bought uh, ASIN um, Amazon URL and then on the last note I actually put the um, order number okay and it's simple as that that's the way I do it for that one um, I'm just seeing how long we're recording 12 minutes in uh, so next thing we're going to be doing is actually showing how to do this exactly on Bybot Pro so hopefully we should be able to actually have Bybot Pro uh, linked exactly uh, to what we're doing here with um, with the ramp so back again we go sorry i'm just uh looking on the side i've got uh level 60 also so i'm just making sure that uh the pings are okay um right so we are here we've got a social url okay so social url we've not got anything here for us okay so let's actually have a look so these are my settings by the way for anyone's interesting on uh Bybot Pro, okay, so I've got UK, standard accounting, method for prep fee, bundle up free. Um, that's what I've actually got. And, and we are going to add, right, so therefore we need to copy that. So I'll copy that. So, oh no, copy link. And put it there. YouTube test. Add and save and sync. Right. So we've saved and synced that one for us. Let's have a look. So now, really, we should have the data actually uh, pinging on that. Uh, so let's actually have a look. So have the data pinging on that for us. So if I was to click that, at the moment in time it's not doing anything okay so at the moment in time so analyze it now you've got to analyze it first okay because that will actually load the data on it so if i click youtube test let's see what's it going to be okay so that's copied it over okay done that's clearly copied it over but what we've done is okay we've got different we've put it in as different criteria okay um we've put in different columns really for it so how do we do that well we need to go back here and we need to uh customize a gc okay so column settings okay so you can actually see what all the columns here yeah and all you've got to do is put them in the order which you guys actually want to okay that's all you've got to do put them in the order you actually want to and then simply every time you go in store scan that and export it as simple as that and also that means that will actually um <laughs> it just means you've got accurate data for us uh, for anything you're actually doing so i would do exactly the same for both seller amp and buybot pro when it comes to exporting or doing my online or online arbitrage really so you've got you've got your data all the time and then really all it is so say for example you've got a day of sourcing okay so we've got cost price as uh, so i say for example here I've got this data um, equals sum and then you could actually put uh, maybe if you wanted at the end you can add the column is quantity okay so let's add the quantity here I'm being thick I should have equal sums there just put a quantum of quantity so quantity 
can you spell a quantity? So let's say we've bought five of these and six of this side, so five and six. Yeah, why does it not go down six? Uh, of this item so you could have somewhere total spend for the day okay total spend for the day and this is the way i do it uh i'm making sure that i'm actually spending an x amount of money so equals some okay nothing crazy anyone that's dealing with spreadsheets before has done it so we're looking for cost price uh, that times that add uh, times that. so that's done with the total stand for the space for the day is so on and then you could actually potentially have it for all the items you've actually been buying and have you reached your target yes you can play around with it wherever you want to actually do it so you can have it up here and say as i actually work in you can do so many different things with G Sheets really for us but again that's something we can actually talk about maybe on uh, next time i do something like this but yeah, I mean, um, I really hope you have enjoyed this. Um, yeah, I mean, it's the way I run my business, it's the way I actually do it. It's making sure that it's all about data when it comes to Amazon. So really important, keep your data correctly. Uh, so that's the easiest way. Really, all you got to do is have your phone and just export the data on it. And the same when you're doing online arbitrage. So yeah, thanks so much for watching, everyone. I uh, hope this has been helpful and hopefully the audio has been okay too. So thanks, everyone.